Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some Super Auto Pets. We are back playing the weekly pack here. It's been, I've been playing it for a little while now on stream. Feel free to come check us out over at twitch.tv slash ectospiral. Is it the ectospiral? It might be. I'll put it in the description for you. Um, I've been doing okay with the weekly pack, averaging about five to six wins. I don't get it. I do not get it whatsoever, really. Uh, ants, beavers, beetles, cockroaches. It seems like it's pretty simple, right? Like, tier one, in my mind, should be buy ants, buy frill dragon. If you don't find ants, buy a cricket for it, right? If you don't get that, then maybe, like, cockroaches, beavers fill in. I am getting rolled going on to like turn 11 by iguanas because i'm running anteaters like the weirdest animals in this pack are destroying me everybody knows about the elephant blowfish combo people have been running that since back in the day um haven't seen too many pandas but when i do they tend to get me pretty good because usually it's on like a blowfish or something like that obviously mentioned the blowfish a couple times it's here capybara everybody loves that Giraffe, I think I overrate. It's some of the only early scaling that you get, but I think it's just too slow. I've been seeing a lot of level 2 or 3 kangaroos. Been seeing a good amount of oxes. I haven't seen any starfish, but I think that the starfish, if you get it early enough, is one of the best way to buffs. You do have some cell effects. Emperor Tamarin, it's a bad one, but it is a cell effect. You got the, not the rat. What's the other one called? The mouse? Uh, beaver is a cell effect. Duck cell effect. Mouse cell effect. So that's three already. I wish that this was a cell. This is a buy effect with no hurt triggers until you get to the blowfish. Is the blowfish the only one? There's no peacock in this pack. Yeah, so they threw this absolute abomination into the weekly pack with just the blowfish. I mean, I guess that there's a piranha in tier 6, if you want to count that. You're not buying this thing at tier 2 with the intent to buy a piranha when you get to turn... What is it? Is it 11? Let's see... Tier 4 units are turn 9. So tier 5 units are turn 11. So you would have to get a level up on a unit on turn 11. And, and then happen to roll into a piranha. Yeah, like, I don't know, nobody's running that. I actually got rolled by a jellyfish. It was a little upsetting, but I was kind of happy to see it. I'm not going to go through everything, but key things I've noticed to look out for are kangaroo um, if I'm going to run an anteater they're going to be running iguanas so I need to get it to level 2 as soon as possible if not level 3 and donkeys donkeys have been surprisingly decent they did change this I don't know how long ago this was I'm been uh, a little uh, MIA from the super auto pets haven't picked up the game in a couple weeks but as opposed to when this unit gets a knockout, it's now when a friend faints. So before, you wanted to stat this thing up and play it at the front. Now you can just let it sit in the back, and it does its job pretty well. It only pushes one enemy, but a lot of times that's going to be something that they don't want up front. Other than that, nothing crazy. Lionfish, monkeys seal with no other food pets whatsoever no cat no cow nothing really to work with i guess that there's mice if you want to roll with that seems bad uh, i despise this with all my soul turkey i don't like but it's not that bad alpaca dragon gorilla some fun stuff reindeer i've been 
liking more and more. I think that I underrate the reindeer a bit. Let's get this rolling. Okay, well, we're just picking up three ants, I suppose. I guess that if I get a frill dragon, that would be better. Okay, well, this is not how it's been going, just so you guys know. We are going to be the overpowered bosses. Let's see what we get here. It would be pretty tough to... Yeah, there's no chance we lose this one. This is about as good of a squad as you can get to start off. It doesn't look like it's going to be slowing down. Am I going to take iguanas after talking crap about them? I think I am. Counters crickets early. So next turn we can combine our ants. Another easy dub. Frill Dragon is definitely the MVP of Tier 1 units. Maybe even of Tier 2 units, to be honest. I seem to get a Blowfish every time that I uh, hit a level up. Bit strange, but definitely not complaining. Mm, I'll freeze that. Actually, Elephant's pretty good. I don't need a beaver. So I'm thinking that I want to get the elephant down before I pill off. I don't know if I'm going to be pilling off the ant or the flamingo or what I'm doing. But. Being able to get the extra HP on the elephant is pretty important. So we go like that. We go like this. Move that. I guess I'm just going to pill the flamingo and then put another one there. Seems like a bit of a waste, I know. Uh, yeah, let's go... I don't know. Frill Dragon's not very likely to stick around. I think I'd rather roll. Pass, pass. We'll take that. Do I want a croissant? I don't think so. I think HP is more important on a build like this. Almost messed up my order there. That would have been a little rough. This should be okay. We can get a... Uh, Get a pineapple going on the blowfish, and it'll be off for the races for us. Oh, this is going to be rude. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. But we do still get the win. Up to four wins already. That was quick. Okay, give me that. Give me this. Give me that, and give me this. Seems pretty good. Um, I know I just called this thing an abomination, but we are running a comp with the only unit that it's good for, so I guess we can take that. Got a skunk already, huh? This guy's team is pretty damn strong. I was really hoping for a snipe on the puppy. And we don't get it, so we lose. Actually, if we got a snipe on the puppy or on the um, frill dragon there, we won that. But we didn't, so it is what it is. Give me that. Lose this. Play that. Don't really like any of this. I do like that. That's real nice. Uh, don't care for a worm. We're fine as is. Sure. Let's see what we got going on here. Do we get a snipe? Give us the snipe, please. Nope. Well, pretty easy win, though to five already um yeah let's pill this give me that roll it double deer i don't think is worth i just noticed that the abomination caught the buffs 
Skunk could be quite useful on a team like this. I think we're going to roll with it. Which means that we are not taking a giraffe. This could be okay. It's pretty expensive, but I think that getting a level 3 elephant or a level 2 blowfish is worth. Don't need that on anything. So now basically what we need to have not happen... Well, that's not how English works. What we need to... I guess that's fine. What we need to have not happen is these two units to not be able to trade into one at the very start. Like right here, it's okay for it to happen. But going forward, we really can't afford it. With that being said, we are on to our sixth win already. Let's sell this, play this, sell that, play that, freeze it. Oh, another skunk. That might just be better. Nothing, nothing. So now I have to play that at the front, which is real strange. But if we can get a level 2 skunk, it's going to be highly beneficial to our blowfish just being able to snipe a whole bunch of units. Like right here, for instance. Oh, oh this is not nice. Yeah, that was pretty rude what we just did to him. So we need more HP on our blowfish. And that is a pretty good way to get it done. Bop. Uh, I'll take one of those. Let it roll. I said I need HP. I guess I'll settle for attack. Just don't hit both skunks. Okay, so that's pretty fun. <laughs> These are our two main units, man. Come on. Ugh, feels pretty bad, but I guess it happens. Yeah, this is where the skunks are coming into play. So we wouldn't have gotten a trade into them otherwise. Okay, that's decent. We might be in a bit of trouble here. Yeah, we definitely lose this one. That's the type of team that I'm afraid to go up against, but... Oh, well, I suppose. Give me that. Give me a skunk. I was thinking maybe more like a skunk. A monkey is pretty good. Do I settle for a monkey? We can freeze it. There is a skunk. It's a bit late. Who am I kidding? No, it's not. We're doing it. I definitely don't need an orca. I now also realize that I wasn't meant to use the chocolate on the skunk. So that's a bit unfortunate. It'd be real nice to have a chocolate to get a level 2 monkey next turn now. <laughs> Come on, dude. I'm not very good at this game, guys. I don't know how to break the news to you. Hey, what's up, cleanup? Long time no see, my guy. Am I going to get rolled by this thing? Oh, yes, I am. Oh, that feels bad. <laughs> Thanks for the good luck, man. I don't think I've ever gotten a sloth, surprisingly. Hopefully I can uh, change that pretty soon. I really don't want to be buffing the skunk, but I think I might have to settle for it. Actually... I have a decision to make here. Uh, let me check it. Does it say it on here? History stats. Matches played. Oh, you know, man, I know how good you are with the sloths. It's pretty insane.
Yeah, isn't it like one out of every like 500 or something like that? I forget the exact stats. But I feel like I should have seen at least one. Do I want to put this on the skunk or on... Th I think that I'm okay with using this... No, it's going to get more HP. I'm just going to send it. I haven't been playing this very much at all. Every 100 to 200, really. That's pretty insanely unlucky, then. Hopefully we get the snipe. Come on, hit the flamingo. Ah, bit unlucky. Oh, that's enough fun. One out of 10,000 chance per shop roll, not just per unit in the shop. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Well... One out of 10,000, so you're saying that on average you'd get what? That would be between 50 to 100 shop rolls per game? That seems pretty high. I feel like I don't get to see anywhere close to 100 shops per game, but it might also just be me being bad at the game. Let's see, that's better than I've been doing, at least. Let's grab this. And... I think I prefer the beaver. Yeah, let's grab that. Let's see what we can get for a team name here. Let's be the... Let's be a small turtle. Two hundred runs per slot, yeah, because that would be or per slot, not slot. That seems like it would make a lot more sense, because I feel like I'm a lot closer to fifty shop rolls per game than I am a hundred. And I think that on average, let's see, stats. Is matches one, like, say that I have a uh, eight-win run? Do I get... No, there's no way. That has to be a ten-win run, right? Yeah, so I'm winning about one out of every five. I'd say that's on the higher end of things. I wish that it would show you, like, your, uh... Kind of like with Call of Duty, with like your kill-death ratio, like your, uh, how many average wins you get. That'd be pretty cool. Let's grab one of them. Grab one of them. You can move that to the back, and I guess that we're just gonna throw this here. Seems fine. Yeah, because... Law of averages, everybody should be at 1 out of 10. Granted, if you're, like, you know, streaming or anything like that, yours is probably going to be a little bit higher than it would be otherwise, like, just about every other game. Let's see, what do I want to do? Let's have this not hit both the ants. That'd be nice. Okay. I probably should have bought the croissant. That would have been smart. Do I want a raccoon? It's okay. And if there's two of them, I'll definitely take it. Get one more roll in. Grab one of them. That's probably just better than a cricket, but I don't have to buy it this turn. How you been doing with your runs? For a little while, I saw you doing a whole bunch of uh, tournament type things. Were those your tournaments, or were those... Eight rolls, three turns in, huh? Hmm, maybe I'm underestimating how much I roll. Were those your tournaments, or were those ran by some other streamer? I do like a croissant. 
Now let's throw a croissant here. I don't think I'm going to freeze the pill. I keep doing that and I feel like it keeps being a mistake. Do I just run a rat at the front? Do I run an iguana at the back? I think I'll put a rat at the front. Is that just in the Super Auto Pets Discord channel? Or is there like a separate one just for uh, tournaments? Easy dub. Oh, I did hear uh, Northern Lion talk about that. Let's get this out of here. Let's get this into here. We definitely don't need the rat. Do I want a kangaroo? I probably do. At this point, we don't have much of a faint build. I think it's actually okay for me to go like this here. Definitely a bit weird, but I think it's pretty good. Ten rolls through four turns. I'd say on average, a game probably lasts to be about... What? Thirteen turns? Like, just starting to see tier six units, maybe? But as you get higher up into the tiers, you're more likely to keep on rolling, I feel. Because eventually you're just kind of looking for units you already have. Unless you have some type of like a buy-sell build. Definitely don't want a flamingo. Don't know why I'm looking at it. Croissant on you. Sounds fantastic. Another kangaroo is pretty good. Level 2 Raccoon. I'll save that for next turn. I tried to get... Have you played the weekly pack at all? Because I feel like the starfish... Oh, I'm going to get rolled by this kangaroo right there. I feel like the starfish should be a pretty good strategy, but I have not been able to make it work very well whatsoever. That's not bad. Maybe I should have saved that pill for the ant. The stork is bad. It can definitely get replaced. Level 2 kangaroo. Love to see that. Monkey. Love to see that. I'm not going to get greedy. Let's just get the ant out of here. Get the monkey into here. I think... I don't know. There's not very many units that I need to worry about sniping my scorpion in this pack. I think I might be okay as is. Do I want to buff the raccoon? I feel like that'd be a mistake. Let's leave it as is. You think so? I guess it is the main form of scaling. Well, you, you do have some units, though. You have, like, monkey. Is it just monkey now that I think about it? Oh, yeah, I guess it is. A giraffe is there, but giraffe's not very good. Let's be real. I don't... Th I definitely can't be replacing that with a giraffe. Buffalo's probably solid at this point to the game, but we're going to be looking at tier 5 units next turn. If I was at 7 hearts, I would be likely to pick up the buffalo, but I think I'm going to pass on it. Let's see. I don't think I want any of this. Anteater's solid. Yeah, I think that's good enough to lose this. Uh, hit that with a freeze. Yeah, sure. Uh, do I want... I don't really have an option in my attack order here, because I'd lose out on the benefit of the anteater. 
Looks like we're going big scorp. Gets a decent trade. Getting our ox to level 2 needs to be a priority along with the monkey. We do get another dub though. Let's see what we got. Double chicken, you say, with a crow. It's about as early as it shows up. Let's see, what am I thinking? I'm thinking I could afford to lose the monkey. Let's see, we sell, we're at 11, buy, we go down to 8, sell, we're at 9. You could play, play chocolate. I'm thinking so, I mean, it's a perfect shop for it. I just don't know what I want to lose. And I also don't know if I want to put the chocolate on the ox to try to get a win right now. So it gets the uh, additional benefit from its ability, obviously. Or if I want to just put it on the chicken and then try to get a whole bunch of uh, tier 1 units. Yeah, that's true. The can is right there. Because I'm thinking if I go with the chicken, I more or less have to lose this round unless I get a level 2 ox. And I don't know if I can afford to lose, really. So I kind of need to keep the scorp. It's guaranteed a one for one. Is it the kangaroo or the monkey? I'm thinking I gotta lose the monkey. Let's go here, play the crow. I think I'm going to pass on the can, which could be a mistake. We shall see. I don't think I prefer three rolls over buying the second chicken. Do I want to go for a go big, go home? Uh, good question. I believe that I was down to my... I forget if it traded into my kangaroo, if my kangaroo lived the last one. But just looking at the squad in general, I don't think I, I'm very strong compared to other teams. So the way I'm thinking of it is, do I want to... Because the thing I'm worried about is not getting the level 2 chicken next turn, right? But I definitely want to use the chocolate. I don't want to go for three rolls. Always go chicken. Alright, you got it. Oh. That's a pretty nutty combo. Oh, true. There is the replay. Yeah, let's watch that back real quick. Shouldn't it be under replays? Why is it just... Oh, I'm being stupid. Hold up. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, the Rue lived on one. Which isn't very convincing considering I'm gonna have a 3-4 uh, behind it, but... Oh well. Let's send it. Well, I'm thinking that... The chicken with the dragon is going to be a good comp. Oh yeah, I know what you're saying. Because as soon as I pick up a shop unit, even if I were to combine the units, it's just going to be better. Oh, we do come out with a win somehow. Alright, so I need... 
think I'm better off losing this first. And play and sell and play and sell. And it doesn't really matter who this goes to, I don't think. Well, it doesn't look like I had to worry too much about the chicken. And then we'll end on another anteater, I suppose. Let's go for the level 3 chicken. Why not? Do I still like my order? I think it's okay. You like the hamster, huh? I feel like the hamster... I know that it obviously gives you some, uh... Some economic value, but I feel like its stats are so... Horrific. Well, I guess that they're getting buffed up by the chick constantly, huh? Oh, this is gonna be rough. Oh, this is painful. That might have been worst case scenario. Hmm, true. I'm on one life, but like, just playing a whole bunch of chickens does sound pretty fun. Do I have to combine one of them? I don't have to, but like, I probably should. Now let's full send. Let's have a little fun. So I need something to end on. This would have the anteater repeat its ability, which would shoot out four units, which is always going to be too much. Unless I have Anteater Tiger at the back. Freeze, freeze. No, probably not. But, you know. It happens. I think I'm going to be a real weirdo and go like this here. And like you said, definitely not strong enough, but... Might have a little fun with it. Ooh, level 3 rat, level 2 hippo with a snake, you say. It's not very polite. <laughs> I haven't been seeing very many hippos, but uh, they absolutely wreck a team like that. Alright, let's go ahead and... How long has this one been going on for? 33 minutes on the video already. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this YouTube video. I'm going to, uh... I'm just going to keep on going. I need to figure this thing out. I feel like I've been really tapping out at 6 to 7 wins. So, uh, if you guys have any recommendations, be sure to stop by the live stream. Like I said, I'm going to be putting that down in the description. And, uh, come talk to me there. As always, I will be checking out the comments. But, uh, you'll have a lot better odds coming and talking in the stream. I uh, hope you guys have a good day, smash that like button, and I will see you in the next video. Later.